Hi guys, my name is Tawana Brown-Smith. I am the Editor-in-Chief of Mom's Guide to Travel as well as the Managing Director of MGT Travel Media. Hey, so tonight I am doing, um, I do scopes on travel as well as business, social media, and Periscope. So tonight I wanted to do a scope on some travel tips. I'm not sure if any of you are going to Periscope Summit or if you're about to travel in general, but this is one of the things that I wanted to talk to people about. So because I travel a lot because of my job, I know a few tricks of the trade and things that are convenient and things that you should look for when you are considering your flights. And most of the time, people think that price should be a driving force for picking flights, for choosing flights. And I'm here to tell you that that should not necessarily be the driving force for you. Time is money. And so you really need to consider the value of your time. Now, I always say if you can get a direct flight to your destination, then go ahead and get a direct flight. It just, it's less time. You don't have to worry about potentially missing your flight when you have a connection. These are some of the things that just cause more frustration when you travel. And frankly, make people a little hesitant to fly places. If you are flying from the East Coast to the West Coast and vice versa, but specifically from the East Coast to the West Coast, you have to also consider the return flight. When we fly from the West Coast back to the East Coast, we always wind up coming back home. We either have to leave really early in the morning to get home at a decent enough time, or if we leave late at night, we're going to get back midnight in the morning. So that's when you want to necessarily, you might want to pay a little bit extra so that you can get a direct flight versus getting a connection flight and getting there at some ungodly hour. Ask yourself, what is the value of that time? If for me, a hundred dollar difference is, I'd rather do that than spend hours in the airport. So those are some of the things that you want to consider. You also want to consider, do you have any points with another credit card, another airline where you can use those points to A, either get a free flight or B, offset one of the legs of your flight? That always kind of, to me, makes me choose whether I'm going to go with an airline or not. Thanks. Hey, Trixian. And the last thing you should think about is, you know what? Do I like that airline? Do I like the airline? If I don't like the airline, there are airlines that I have my preference for. Yes, I am going. And so I'm looking at flights now. There are airlines that I like and airlines that I do not like. I really don't like some. And I'm not going to say which airlines I like more than others. But, you know, go with the airline that you like. Hopefully you are racking up points so that you have some rewards points and you can cash in. You like United. I like Southwest. I like American. I have most the most points with those airlines. So they are always the top of the list for me. And that's how I decide to, you know, how I choose if I'm going to go with one airline versus the other. So hopefully these travel tips will help you in deciding your flights, whether you're going to Periscope Summit or just flying in general. And you can always go to Mom's Guide to Travel dot com, which is my site, to get more information about travel and tips that will serve you now and in the future. All right, guys. So I will see you later and hopefully I will see you at Periscope Summit in January.